Hi, welcome to Prime Recap. Sam is an extremely unlucky orphan girl, until the day she meets a black cat who gives her a lucky coin. Today we will recap the story of the 2022 movie, Luck. Sam is an orphan who has just turned 18 and is about to leave the orphanage. Her best friend is Hazel, an 8-year-old girl who loves to practice dance steps with her. However, Sam is so unlucky that the whole set falls on top of her while the young woman is rehearsing the choreography. To help her friend get rid of the bad luck that haunts her, Hazel offers her one of the lucky items from her collection. The little girl has gathered all her charms in a little box to help her get a home after the couple's visit that will take place next weekend. The only item missing from her collection is a lucky coin, which Hazel has not yet been able to find. While they are talking, the director of the orphanage appears and informs them that the social worker has arrived to take Sam to her new apartment. With sadness in her heart, the girl says goodbye to her friend and promises that if she finds a lucky coin, she will bring it to Hazel before the visit. Minutes later, Sam gets into the car with a box, where all her documents are. On the way to her new apartment, she decides to open the box and finds an old photo. The girl remembers that she was supposed to find a home that day, but the couple that was going to adopt her gave up at the last minute and didn't show up to pick her up. This was repeated a few times throughout Sam's life, and over time she had to learn to deal with her bad luck. When she arrives at her final destination, the social worker hands over the keys to the girl, who ends up dropping them next to a manhole. Luckily, the keys do not go through the small hole that leads directly into the sewer, until a bicycle passes over them. Since Sam's lack of luck is her trademark, the social worker was already prepared for this and hands the young woman an extra bunch of keys. After a good night's sleep, Sam wakes up to the sound of the lawnmower. Since the window of her room is open, several leaves end up falling inside. She tries to close the window to prevent the place from becoming overrun with plants, but she becomes unbalanced and falls on the bed. As she looks at the time, she realizes that she has only a few minutes to get ready for her first day at work. Sam rushes to take a shower, and as she enters the bathroom, she realizes that the broom has caught the door. The girl is not alarmed, because she is used to dealing with this kind of situation. With the help of a tube of toothpaste, she manages to lift the broom handle and open the door. Sam wastes a few minutes trying to find a pair of socks and then has to run to get her breakfast. To complete the streak of bad luck, the pot of jam falls on the edge of the plate and throws the slice of bread on the wall, which comes out dirtying everything until it reaches the floor. After cleaning up the mess, the girl picks up her bike and rides to work, but before she leaves she realizes that the tire is flat and she needs to fill it up. Despite all these unexpected problems, the young woman manages to arrive early at work and is praised by her new boss. However, as the day progresses, Sam gets in the way of all the tasks and Marvin asks her to take care of the shopping carts, so that her chances of getting hurt during work are lessened. Over the weekend, the girl goes to the orphanage to say goodbye to Hazel before she is adopted and Mrs. Rivera tells her that her visit has been cancelled. However, the principal says that another couple has arranged to visit in two days, and Sam is saddened to imagine that Hazel will have a file full of names of families who have given up on adopting her, as happened to her. When she meets her friend, Sam realizes that she is very sad and afraid of not getting a family. The young woman tries to cheer her up and assures her that Hazel will soon be adopted. That night, Sam stops at a cafe to eat, but the tables are all taken and she decides to sit on the sidewalk. Then a black cat appears and sits down next to her, so the girl decides to share her snack with him. After eating, the animal leaves and Sam gets up to go home. When she picks up her napkin from the floor, she finds a coin and immediately remembers Hazel. The girl really wants to find a coin to complete her collection of lucky items, so Sam picks it up and intends to take it to her friend, hoping that she will be lucky enough to be adopted by the next couple that visits her. The next morning, something strange happens. For the first time, Sam manages to wake up just as her alarm clock goes off. Again, the gardener is cutting the grass, but only a single leaf falls inside her room. When she goes to take a bath, the coin falls out of her pocket and the girl realizes that there is a four-leaf clover drawn on it. Apparently, that really is a lucky coin. To test her theory, Sam holds up the coin while letting a slice of bread with jam fall onto the plate. Surprisingly, the jelly side falls upward. When she releases the coin and performs the same experiment, the jelly side drops down. Confident that that coin can get Hazel adopted, Sam calls the orphanage and informs Mrs. Rivera that she will stop by later. At work, the girl enjoys her first and last lucky day before handing over the coin to Hazel. For the first time in her life, everything she does goes right, and Marvin is impressed to see his new employee skills. In the evening, the girl gets ready to leave, but first she has to go to the bathroom. Sam takes her cell phone and the coin from her pocket and puts them on top of the toilet paper holder. What she didn't know is that the toilet has an automatic flush and she gets a fright. At that moment, 
The coin is flung upwards and falls into the next toilet. Sam takes great care not to trigger the flush, but her bad luck makes this mission totally impossible. When a drop of sweat drips from her face, the coin is sent to the sewer. Minutes later, while lamenting what happened, Sam finds the same black cat as the night before. She decides to vent to the animal, as she knows that no human would believe her story. When he finds out that the girl flushed the coin, the cat becomes furious and starts yelling at her. Startled, Sam watches the animal closely and notices the symbol of a four-leaf clover on its collar. At that moment, the young woman realizes that this coin belonged to him and begs the cat to give her another one. Upon hearing this, the feline flees and Sam runs through the streets after him. After chasing him all over town without success, the girl finds him hiding in an alley. The animal types a password on his keyboard and a portal opens. Hoping to get another lucky coin, Sam decides to go through the portal right after it and ends up in the land of luck. Noticing that he has been followed by that annoying girl, Bob despairs, for humans are forbidden in that place. Sam promises that she will leave as soon as the animal gives her another coin, and Bob claims that the coin was not given as a gift, it just fell off his collar. He explains that the creatures of the land of luck have no luck in the human world, so they use the coins when they go there. Suddenly, two goblins appear and the cat asks Sam to hide. He asks where Jerry, his assistant, is, and the creatures inform him that he is in the coin warehouse. So Sam has the idea to go in there and get a coin. The problem is that only elves are allowed to enter the depository, so the girl will have to disguise herself. To get past the captain, Bob needs to hand over his coin, so Sam asks the cat to hand over the button from her fanny pack until they can get a new coin. For some reason, the captain doesn't like Bob and has always picked on him for no reason. So the animal has to distract her while he hands over his coin so that the elf doesn't discover that it is a button. Meanwhile, Sam walks past the elves' entrance and they both walk together toward the locker room. Bob opens his assistant's closet and hands Sam an elf uniform. Then two elves appear and are impressed by the girl's size. The cat claims that she came from Latvia, where the world's greatest elves live. After saying goodbye, the pair head to the warehouse, and Sam is delighted to see the land of luck from the inside. In that place, everything works wonderfully well and the creatures live in perfect harmony. Bob hitches a ride on the transport disc and believes that Sam is right behind him. However, he soon realizes that the young girl is still up there and falls trying to get down. The animal comes back to help her and is amazed at how unlucky this girl is. When they meet Jerry, Bob asks his assistant to teach Sam how to work in the warehouse, since she has just arrived from Latvia and this is her first day on the job. Immediately, the leprechaun agrees to help her. First, they sit on a swivel chair and need to get a coin to polish it. After doing so, they are transported under a tube that sucks out the coins. In her second attempt, Sam keeps the coin in her pocket before it is sucked out, but her plan fails. The third time she passes the coin machine, the girl grabs the button, and from then on disaster strikes. Besides getting in the way of the whole team, she ends up losing the button, which gets sucked up along with the coins, desperate that she messed up. Sam decides to tell Jerry the truth and asks the leprechaun to help her get a new coin. The elf is startled to discover that the girl is a human, but agrees to help them find the lost coin so that Bob will not be banished to bad luck. After the event, the emergency siren goes off and the captain appears with the rabbits to assess whether there are any speckles of bad luck scattered in that place. As they try to think of another way to get a coin, Jerry tells them that before the current captain took over, when a coin was lost in the human world, they would send a rabbit drone to pick it up. The problem is that for more than a decade this device has not been used, so they have to get a lucky crystal to recharge it. When they arrive on the lucky floor, everyone watches Sam and is surprised to see such a large elf. The trio walk quietly so as not to arouse suspicion and hide while watching the CEO of Land of Luck at work. She is the only one who can smell the bad luck grains and is there to make sure that her world is not contaminated with bad luck. Now it is the turn of the magic pigs to go into action to create the lucky crystals. With Sam's help, Bob manages to get one of the crystals and they can proceed with the second part of the plan. Jerry goes to get the drone while the pair walk to the control room. Bob knocks over the keyboard of one of the rabbits and uses the computer while the animal goes to get another. The cat activates the drone control and Jerry inserts the energy crystal, allowing the device to be transported to the human world. The drone's trajectory is projected onto the screen and all the rabbits notice that something is wrong. To distract them, Sam enters the room and begins to sing and dance the choreography she has rehearsed with her friend Hazel. Immediately, the rabbits join in and everyone starts dancing while Bob completes his mission. As the drone takes the coin and returns to the land of luck, Sam and Bob leave the control room and hear an announcement made by the captain. The elf tells them that a button has been inserted into the coin collector and three cats are the main suspects, among them is Bob. 
When the drone returns with the coin, it is covered in sewage water and Jerry decides to use a glove to get the coin. However, before he could catch it, the vacuum is triggered and the drone is sucked away. Now they must go to the in-between, a space between bad luck and land of luck, to try to recover the drone. As they enter the elevator, Sam presses the button and Bob realizes that they are going to the wrong place. Accidentally, the girl has caused them to be taken to bad luck, where gravity is opposite that of land of luck. When the elevator stops, Sam is thrown out and hits her head on a pipe, which breaks loose and destroys the elevator control box. The girl gets stuck outside, and Bob gives her the coordinates to get to the in-between. Before she can leave the place, Sam encounters fearsome creatures and must hide in a bar to avoid being seen by a giant root. As she walks through the door, she encounters several screaming monsters around a green light and leaves. Arriving outside, the young woman finds Tower 13, where, according to Bob, there is a passage to the in-between. In order to get there, Sam has to dodge bad luck, because nothing in that place works the way it should. When she finally enters the tower, the girl tries to hide while following the clues to find the purple light. Underneath there is a small door full of insects, and Sam must climb down a rope to reach her destination. Quickly, she finds Bob, who is on the other side of the floor. The cat removes the sign and asks the young woman to jump. In doing so, she is pulled back to the ground, since gravity works differently in the two worlds. Minutes later, Bob realizes that Sam has grains of bad luck stuck to her feet. The animal hears Jeff approaching and the two of them need to hide. The unicorn takes a shovel to clean up the bad luck grains and ends up being guided to the girl's hiding place. Jeff believes that that dust came from his mixer, which takes the grains of bad luck directly to the randomizer and randomly distributes it to the world. Sam asks how the device works and tries to distract the unicorn while Bob searches for the drone. During the conversation, Jeff shows the young woman a picture of him with the dragon lady and claims that she is the great love of his life. The unicorn tells that before he built the blender, he had to clean the bad luck dust with his hands, and one day the pipe exploded, spilling the grains all over his body. So Babe found out what happened and went to see him. She borrowed a lucky coin to counteract Jeff's bad luck and it took four months for him to fully recover. However, even so, Jeff assures that those were the best four months of his life, because he was able to be by the side of his true love. After that, they split up. After telling his sad love story, the creature hears the noise that indicates the arrival of new deliveries. Bob is on the mountain of garbage looking for the rabbit drone and the unicorn reveals that he found one of these a few minutes earlier. He says that there was a coin stuck in it, but it was so dirty that Jeff had to send it to the warehouse to be disinfected. When they return to the land of luck, Bob is devastated, as he is sure he will be banished. However, Sam reveals that she has a plan. The girl stole a little speck of bad luck while in the in-between and is going to meet up with Babe. When she finds her, the dragon smells bad luck and calls the rabbits to remove the speck that is stuck in the sole of Sam's shoe. Babe then gives a lucky coin to the supposed elf, so that she can neutralize the bad luck. The dragon says that the last creature she helped had to keep the coin for four months, until she was completely rid of the bad luck. She claims that those were the best four months of her life. Happy to complete her goal, Sam runs to break the news to Bob. Just then, she sees the cat being taken away by the captain and runs after them. The young woman jumps on top of the vehicle and the captain parks to find out what happened. Then, Sam says that she has found the coin that Bob dropped from his collar. The cat hands over his coin to the captain and she gives up banishing him, believing that it was all just a mistake. When the elf leaves, Bob thanks Sam for saving him, since she could have taken the coin to Hazel, but the girl has another plan to help her friend. She intends to turn off Jeff's mixer so that the bad luck will be trapped inside and not prevent Hazel from being adopted. Two hours later, Bob is to turn the switch back on to get everything back to normal. Now that she has managed to complete her mission in Land of Luck, Sam says goodbye to her new friend and gets into the elevator to be taken back to the human world. At that moment, grains of bad luck begin to invade that land and they rush back to the in-between to find out what is going on. However, it is too late and the place is taken over by bad luck, causing only purple particles to be sent to the human world. As a result, the couple does not show up for Hazel's visit and the girl does not get a family again. With the entire world overrun by bad luck, the randomizer's lucky stone is destroyed, dooming the entire land of luck. Babe needs luck to forge a new stone, but all the coins have been infected with particles of bad luck. Bob then offers the coin that he kept hidden in his collar, but it too is contaminated. Just then, the captain manages to unmask him and discovers that the cat is not a being from the land of luck. He lived most of his life in bad luck until he found a lucky coin. Without the lucky stone, the unlucky stone is also destroyed, and all connection between that world and the world of humans is severed. Desperate to return home, 
Sam reveals that she is human and needs help to find a way to reconnect the two worlds. The girl is very sad about what she has done and comes to the conclusion that everything bad that happens in her life is not the fault of bad luck, it is her fault. For even in the luckiest place in the world, she has found a way to mess everything up. Upon hearing this, Bob tries to cheer her up and states that Sam is the best human he has ever met. Her first instinct is to share everything she has, just as she did when she shared her lunch with him. Even though she has lived a lifetime of bad luck, the first thing she thought of when she found the lucky coin was to give it to Hazel. Sam is thrilled to hear this. Her desire to make things right is so great that she remembers seeing something like a lucky stone in bad luck and they both decide to go back there to get it. When the girl describes the place where she found the lucky stone, Bob can only think of one place. They walk into a bar and Sam is terrified to see all those monsters. She believes that the creatures that create the misfortune are evil and scary, but is surprised to discover that they can also be lovable. Ruti is the owner of that bar and Mayor of bad luck. He is happy to see Bob again and tells him that they now have a new corner of the bar, called, Lucky Shot. While Rudy was fixing some cracks, he hit a pipe and some lucky grains flew out of it. So he gathered those grains and put them in a pot so that everyone in bad luck could experience a moment of good fortune. Sam feels guilty for taking the lucky shot away from them. But Rudy says that her friends will find something else to do. He says that one of the benefits of bad luck is that you learn to handle yourself in any situation, and the girl says that she had never thought about it that way. With the lucky grains in hand, the pair go to meet Jeff so that the unicorn can convince Babe to talk to them. Then, Sam informs the dragon that she can use the lucky grains that were in bad luck to restore the balance between the worlds. Instead, however, Babe makes two lucky and one unlucky stones. She intends to use the two lucky stones to fix the randomizer and thus end the bad luck in the world. Just then, Sam takes the unlucky stone and goes after Babe. Babe puts the first stone in the randomizer and runs to put the second one in. However, the girl manages to get there before the dragon and states that she will not allow bad luck to be eliminated. Babe believes that bad luck has destroyed her world and prevented her from living her love story, but Sam claims that it is just the opposite. It is because of bad luck that Babe and Jeff met, and it is also because of the help of the people of bad luck that they will be able to rebuild the land of luck. Upon hearing this, the dragon backs down and decides to allow luck and bad luck to exist side by side. When the two stones are inserted into the randomizer, the balance is restored and the land of luck goes back to the way it always was. The connection between the two worlds is restored and Sam can return home. This time Hazel's visit is a success and the girl finally gets a family. Before leaving, Sam, Bob and a few other residents of Land of Luck decide to stop by Rudy's bar and the girl hands him a lucky stone as a thank you. Now it is Bob's turn to decide what to do with his life. His friends from Bad Luck ask the cat to come home, but the captain says he can go back to his job in the Land of Luck. However, none of these options seem attractive to Bob. What he really wants is to return to the land of humans with Sam and live out the rest of his days by her side, as a family. A year later, Sam becomes the manager of Marvin's supermarket. After work hours, she and Bob meet Hazel to spend the weekend together. In the end, bad luck didn't stop Sam from achieving the best things in the world. After 18 years alone, the girl has finally found her family, and this is the greatest luck she could ever want. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.